Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome, folks, to The Hungry Gamer is back with another mini preview. And today we are talking about Broken and Beautiful. Now, this is a game that is about the art of Kent Sugi. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. And this is a style of pottery where you make the pottery and then the pottery is broken and then put back together using gold. And the game itself is a drafting and set collection style game with a little bit of a twist because what's going to be happening is each round players will be drafting these cards here. And I'll hold a couple of these up close to the screen here so we can check them out. And as you can see, they are just porcelain, I assume porcelain, vases or bowls or cups or jugs or whatever they might be. And each one, what's important is, is that each one has a different scoring condition. As I said, it's a set collection. For example, you, if you are able to collect both a cup and a saucer, then you will get one point for each cup and you'll multiply it by two for having a saucer to go on it. Now, simple enough, you're just collecting various bits of pottery and having a nice lovely little tea set. However, after you draft things, you have a choice. You can either take it and put it into your collection, or you can turn it in for a certain amount of gold, which you will see down here on the bottom corner. Then, after everybody has drafted two cards, there will be one card left on top of the draw stack, and then there will be one card that was not drafted. All the cards around the table of this type then break, which means you just turn them sideways in front of you. Now, this is an opportunity for you to make more points, because at the end of the round, you're able to pay the gold that I mentioned earlier to repair them and turn them over, as you can see right there, and they're worth more points. And you can see it has the pretty little gold bits that are you're putting it back together. And you're going to play until you can't deal up two cards per player, plus one more. And then at the end of the game, you're going to score up who is the winner. And each of the different types of pottery has a different scoring condition. As I already mentioned, the cups and the saucers you get points for. There are vases, in which case it's you're looking for sets of three. There are the tea jugs, and whoever has the most gets six points, and so on and so on and so on. A whole bunch of different things. But for each one that you have managed to repair to this side right here is going to get you more points. And how many more points is going to vary on card to card to card, depending on what it is that you are repairing. Now, that's really it. It's actually a very quick, very simple game. So what do I like about this game? Well, the first thing is, I like that it's very quick and very simple. You can very easily throw this down and you can play. It does not take up a lot of space whatsoever. I also appreciate it. it is very, very simple to learn the game. Again, it's just, just a few rules that you're playing. But what I think makes it work as far as set collection games go of this ilk, and again, I don't use the word ilk as a pejorative. I know some people think it is. I don't think it is. But set collection games of this ilk is two things. One, every round is a snake draft. So you're going to, so there's a little bit of a strategy in how you're drafting right there. Along with the drafting is, this is a game that is prime for hate drafting. And I think to actually do well at the game, you have to do some hate drafting. You have to look at it and say, okay, I want to make sure that this breaks, or I want to make sure that this doesn't break, because I can see my opponent has a whole bunch of gold, and they're going to be able to fix these things if I allow all their stuff to break. So I want to make sure that that doesn't happen, because it's going to cost them points in the long run. Or it's looking at them saying, you know what, I'm going to take this thing so their stuff will break, because if it ends the game broken, you're not going to get any points for it, and so on and so on and so on. I think that adds an interesting dynamic to it, and makes it much more interactive than most set collection games are. But clearly, the best part of the game is the fixing of it. I think that is just a super clever bit of strategy to the game because yes, some stuff is going to break, but you can determine sometimes what is going to be the thing that breaks to kind of help yourself out. But it is a little bit of a push your luck there because if something's just broken, it's worth zero points. But if you can get it fixed and you have the gold, and you've managed your resources to have that gold, then it's worth even more points. And I think that is actually very, very clever. So what are my quibbles about the game? Well, one, for a set collection game, it can be kind of mean. And two, 
I think that this is another one of the games that I often talk about that I would like that they're very easy to learn. This is one that's going to like probably live in my backpack. Is that it is exceedingly simple. This is not a game you're going to build a day around. This is something you're going to take with you and you're going to play with somebody over coffee. Or I'm going to take this with me to work and I'm going to play it with one of my coworkers at lunchtime. That's what this game is. This is not a game that you're going to be spending a ton of time around. But really, that's it. That is broken and beautiful. I think this is a very clever little game. And actually, it is much more fun than I thought it was going to be when I said yes that I would look at it. And for me, that is just delightful. And I think if you're somebody that really enjoys set collection games, then this is one that you cannot go wrong with. Well, you almost can't go wrong with because you can get a little bit mean, but I think this is a game that should be in the collection of anybody that's a fan of card-based set collection games. So there you have it, folks. That is Broken and Beautiful, as always. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.